Ray here. So the project we're doing today is we are making a custom trellis. On the back of our garage is just a blank brick wall that we went and looked at the pre-manufactured trellises and we just, we just didn't like it. So we have designed our own trellis and we're gonna make it. So let me show you the wall. So this is the brick wall on the back of our garage. We did have this trellis with this pot here, but it's just, it, we need something better to cover this wall. So that's our project. We're here at Home Depot, we're buying the wood for our trellis, and this is some oak that we've picked out. So we're just gonna buy as many as we can, and then we'll just design the trellis. So we are back from Home Depot. Josh is measuring out the wood, so and go along with his design, then we'll go and cut them. So Josh has this all drawn out in his mind how this is going to be designed. So I personally don't get to see this until it is fully done. But now he's going to be cutting the wood over there, then laying it out on the ground. So here we've cut the wood, we're laying out this as a preliminary kind of just as the basic design. So this is going to be the ground right here. And it's going to go up and kind of have a curve to it. Oh, pretty cool. Hey, this is our standing station. We have this set up. Hopefully this isn't going to take us too long. I'm sure it'll take us a couple hours but we bought this waterproof brown stain and sealer. We're both gonna be working on this together. Hopefully this doesn't take us too long because we would like to finish this project today. This did not even take us even close to as long as I thought it would because it was the two of us doing it together. But now that we have them all stained, we're gonna let it dry and we'll go up and put this bad boy together. So one thing I forgot to mention is we kept them separated. These are the vertical ones the ones over here are the horizontal ones. They're not in the exact order, but we at least, at least kept them separate. And yeah, we'll let them dry, then we'll put it together. So what we've got going on is we're gonna put them all 10 inches apart. And then so it isn't just super predictable. There's a couple that'll just be um, not 10 inches apart, I guess. <laughs> It'll just be kind of closer, it'll give it a random pattern, and they're actually, so it'll kind of curve down, but as you can see, it's not all, there's a couple different lengths in there. And then make a little bit of random. Okay, now that we have these all vertical ones laid out the way we want. We're putting the horizontal one, we're putting one at the top, one at the bottom. We're gonna put some screws in it so it's kind of anchored and then we'll put the other horizontal ones on. So the design won't lay out on the table. So now that we have the main ones anchored, we're gonna take this whole thing, move it to the grass, and then we'll finish putting in the screws. We 
together. Now we have to go get the area where it's being moved up to prepared. So this is a small far away shot of where the trellis is going. Looks kind of boring right now, but once we put it up there, it'll look amazing. Okay, now we're going to put the trellis flat against the wall and then anchor it so it won't fall off. So we got the trellis all anchored to the brick wall. We got four cement screws here in that. Now we're gonna get some pots and put them and then plant the clementus and let it climb. Okay, so we are here at Tri-City Nursery. We are getting the vines for our trellis. We'll have to go see what kind of vines they have because I'm not sure. We're not gonna be too picky about which ones we get, but let's go see what they got. We're buying three of them so they can kind of just go differently on the trellis. So we went to the store. We got three clementis vines. We got three of these pots and then some potting mix. Okay, now I'm taking these pots. We're gonna line them up, try to keep these grasses in between them and then put the lights on the outside. So let's get these pots in a good position. So these pots that we bought, they're kind of light and soft and we need to put some gravel in them to weigh them down. in them. This one's? Put the white one in the middle. This one? Yeah. This one in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this Clementus plant, the plant that we bought <laughs> looks kind of sad, but when we bought it at the Tri-City Nursery, she gave us quite a bit of a discount on it because this is really the one of the colors that we wanted, but this isn't, this isn't the biggest, healthiest plant. Project. This took all day, but man, we got it done. And it looks so much better than I thought it would because of the pots. Honestly, I pictured these vines coming out of the ground and climbing up the trellis. But with these three pots, it just gives it, in my mind, a nice finishing touch. But this trellis really just finishes off this wall. So remember, work hard, play hard, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next project.